What reeds have you been playing on these days? I've been trying a few different brands lately. Today, let's talk about what to look for when choosing reeds and how to enter the next giveaway contest for a chance to win a box of these. Jay Metcalf here with another Better Sax video. I hope you're doing well. Before we get started, if you like saxophone videos and giveaway contests, do me a favor, drop me one of these right now and make sure you are subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on the next one. When I was buying my first reeds way back when, my choices consisted of what was for sale at the music store. If they didn't have a particular brand for sale, it basically didn't exist for me. Nowadays with the internet, it's super easy to order any brand of reed from around the world and have it delivered in a few days. So why not experiment with different brands and cuts of reeds to find out what works best for us. Today I'm looking at these new reeds from Lupifaro, a company known for their saxophones. They've had reeds for sale in the past, but recently they've come out with a new cut of reed called the Evo reed. And they're made by my friends over at Rigotti in the south of France. So you know the cane is of the highest quality and only the best ones make it through their selection process. If you haven't already watched my video where I visit the Rigotti cane fields and reed production factory. I'll link to it so you can check that out and see exactly what goes into making these excellent reads. For me, the most important thing is consistency. When reads are consistent, it's a lot easier to determine if a brand or cut is working for you since even just a box of five reads will tell you the full story. If you're buying reeds and finding that inside any given box, there are large fluctuations between them, you're going to end up playing on the few that work well for you and discarding the rest. But I don't think it's too much to ask to get 80% or more of the reeds in a box to work very well. I've gone through a couple of boxes each of these uh, Lupifaro Evo reeds on alto and tenor. And honestly, I've played every one. Every single one has been a winner. I haven't had one dud and I've done minimal adjustments with my Reed Geek apart from flattening the table. Once you've got consistent reads, it becomes a lot easier to figure out which cut and style fits your mouthpiece and the sound you're looking for. I find the Rigotti reads to be very consistent and this goes for all of the specialty brands that they produce reads for like Lupifaro. The reads in a box can never be identical, obviously because it's an organic product, but they can be very close in the strength and the resistance, playability, and how long they last. And by the way, even synthetic reads vary to some degree from one to the next. So let's quickly take a look at some of the variables that make one cut of reed different from another. A lot of people are not aware that different reeds are actually physically different. First of all, the cane that they're made out of is grown in different locations around the world. The cane is trimmed to specifications which change the way they perform when you play them. Some have a thicker tip, some have more material in the spine or the heart of the reed. There are literally infinite variations possible. The thing is you can't really tell by looking at them because the differences are too subtle for us to see with our eyes. Here are five different cuts of alto sax reed. Nobody can look at these and tell you what brands they are or what strength they are. Go ahead and guess what these are in the comments below if you want to try. At the Rigotti factory, they make the different cuts of reed with this machine that follows a template in the same way a key copying machine makes keys. They put the reed template in place and then exact copies are cut one by one. The strength of the reed is determined afterward by testing its flexibility using this machine. So while they may look the same, every cut of reed is different, or at least they're supposed to be. One common variation that you can see clearly is what we call a filed cut or a French cut or double cut. It's where an extra strip of bark is removed just below the vamp area of the reed. Removing this extra material tends to make a reed a bit less resistant than the traditional cut or the American cut or the single cut or the unfiled cut. Lots of different names for the same thing. With so much choice and so many variables at play, 
how do we know what to choose? In the old days, it was easier because there was only a few different brands of reeds available and lots of great music was made on those. Nowadays, Van Doren, for example, has seven different cuts of alto sax reed available. Daddario has eight to choose from. Some are called jazz reeds or classical reeds, but as far as I'm concerned, that's mainly marketing. There are lots of jazz musicians that are playing on classical reeds and sounding jazzy. If you're going for a homogeneous classical sound with the intention of not standing out as an individual, then it makes sense to play on the same mouthpiece and reed setup as everyone else. However, outside of that mindset, we're free to hone in on our unique voice, let's say, and finding a cut of reed that matches perfectly to your mouthpiece can help. So we're gonna have to experiment. Right now I'm experimenting with these Lupifaro Evo reeds. Uh, I have to say the packaging is somewhat clever. These will fit nicely in some sax cases with limited storage space. Let me play something for you on one of these. I'm gonna play the exact same thing on the same reed, but on three very different mouthpieces. <laughs> I find that this reed goes a lot better with one of these mouthpieces than the other two. On the Meyer 6, it's a great match. Traditional jazz mouthpiece really fits well for me. On the Selmer Seastar, it's too edgy. On this mouthpiece, I want more of a pure sound and I would want a harder reed. On the Theowani Durga, it played fine for me, uh, but I'm not sure it's the best choice for this mouthpiece. These reeds have a woody classic feel. It's like they're going for sort of an old school vibe. Think Rico orange box, but very consistent and with higher quality cane. I like these reeds a lot and I find them to be very versatile, but it all comes down to personal preference and the mouthpiece you're playing on. So while I would tend to play these reeds on a traditional jazz mouthpiece, because of the particular resistance they offer, someone else might do the exact opposite. The only way to know is to try different cuts and strengths with your mouthpieces to find what works best for you. There's no one size fits all solution. Once I was talking to the great Michael Brecker about mouthpieces and reeds and he told me he played very soft reeds. And then I know other great players who special order the hardest reeds they can find and then clip them to make them even harder. Remember, the setup that your teacher plays on or your favorite saxophone player plays on may not be right for you. In fact, you might not even be able to get a sound on that setup. For most people, a middle of the road setup is the best way to go. Some sort of medium tip opening with medium strength reed. But don't be afraid to experiment with different size tip openings, and different strengths of reed. Now for the giveaway contest. Click the link in the description below to enter for a chance to win one box of five Lupifaro Evo reeds for either alto or tenor saxophone. It's entirely free to enter. All you need is an email address. The contest ends one week from today, but if you don't wanna wait around and see if you've won, you can order some of these reads for yourself and save 10% by using the coupon code BETTERSAX at checkout. I put a link to the Lupifaro website in the description below. There's a two box minimum for internet orders, so you gotta get at least 10 reads, and right now these are only available for alto and tenor saxophone. Good luck in the contest. Thanks for watching and see you soon.